Bubble and block is really, really simple. First, what you need are two buckets, a spoon, some mud, a squeezy bottle of any kind, a microscope to look at, and the most important part, some printer paper and a Tupperware box. First, add the mud to one of the buckets. We pour some water on it. If we're using marine sediment, we use salt water. And if we're looking at freshwater sediments, we use fresh water. Then spin it round and round and round using the ladle to create a mud soup. As we cause all this turbulence, the cuticles of the hard-bodied fauna they're hydrophobic. They actually don't like water very much. They can attach to the air bubbles that we make as we spin it round and they're driven to the surface. We then draw all of that up by pouring our mud soup into another bucket, which we then just put the printer paper on and pull it off and we'll find that we've got all of our myofauna stuck onto the sheet of paper. Now we just wash it off with a squeezy water bottle into our Tupperware box and we can look at them under the microscope. I think that you'll be really surprised at the diversity of the things that you find under the microscope. There's all of these wonderful animals that live on the moss and on the bottom of the ponds that we don't really think about. Finding this kind of hidden diversity, particularly in urban areas, is really one of the things that really inspired me to become a scientist in the first place.